at once. Our subject is dead. Who must have done this to this innocent girl? We should have been here early enough. And I insisted on it. Will you keep your mouth shut? Who do you think you are? Look, you're a junior officer and your job here is to take orders from me. Is that clear? Well, Mr. Superior Officer, it might interest you to know that this kid happens to be the daughter of the Commissioner for Health. How will you feel? when her father realizes that you delayed our movement. Mr. Lecturer, what is that your name again? Detective Officer Smith. Well, Officer Smith, get yourself away from me, okay? What? And that kidnap? Shit. Who? God. I just take it in this condition. Check something. You went home? The police commissioner's daughter was found dead, all hell had been let loose, and all you do is go home? Without my permission, sir. Sir, I went home to check something very important on my own. Will you shut up? You don't walk alone, do you? And you bloody don't have the right to leave your scene of duty without permission from your superior officers. Come on, boy, this is not a Boy Scout movement. I will surely put you down for this. You may go. Hello. The chief inspector is here.
Yes. I have reported and I have... Sir, we've just received a call from the governor's personal lodge. I'll call you back later. Yes, what is it? His daughter has just been assassinated. What? Madam, we are sorry about the death of your daughter. How could somebody do a thing like this to my little girl? She didn't do anything. I mean, they should have killed me instead. Uh, sir, I assure you that um, we'll do all we can to track down the killers. I know it. My political opponents, they hate me so much. Sir, I was going to ask if anybody witnessed um, the incident. Nobody. Nobody. They killed all the security guards as well. You know, what surprises me most is that nothing, not even a pin was removed from this house. They just came and took away our life. Why? I assure you, sir, we will do our best and... Uh, Promise to track them now. No matter what happens. Madam. It's okay, madam. Uh sir, there is there is something I think you should know. Yes, what is it? The bullets used in killing the security guards and the girl are the same as the ones used in killing the two girls we discovered earlier on. Earlier today. So what are you saying? They are high caliber military bullets used only by the army. They are not sold in open market. Even the local police are not permitted to have possession of such bullets. Now wait a minute. Are you trying to suggest that um, maybe somebody in the military uh, is responsible for this? I'm not saying that, sir. I just thought you should know. Good day, sir. 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 How will you describe the incident? Well, there are no conclusions yet, but we are still investigating. Have you any suspect in mind, sir, or will you start with the governor's political opponents? There are no suspects, uh, but we hope to come up with something soon. Excuse me, sir. 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 Excuse
Major Daniel gave you a false report so that you won't have to send him back to the battlefront to go and save them. I tagged along because he saved my life once. I had no choice, sir. That bastard. So three girls have been killed within the last 24 hours. They are daughters of eminent people in this country. The Omega symbol was left at the spot where these people were killed. Exactly the way we left them when we executed our mission. So what actually do you want me to do? I want to stop the Omega Squad from whatever it is they intend to do. The girls they killed are not their target. They just use them to divert attention from the security officers. So the police and my superiors, they don't believe me. This is where you come in. <laughs> I want you to come and convince them that something alarming is about to happen. Smith, impossible. I am no more in the army. I am now retired. And that is if you don't want to use the word dismissed. Besides, the matter concerning Omega 12 intelligence mission is a very top secret for government. And that it should not be discussed. Have you forgotten that government stands to deny every involvement with us or our mission? Smith, I'm old, and I need some rest. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do to help you. Goodbye. Good day, Connor. I've been here and there. What are you doing here? I'm now a journalist. A journalist? Yes. That's interesting. Well, I came to do a story on the three girls that were assassinated. You've heard it? Yes. That's my job. Actually, I'm supposed to be at the conference center covering the story on the ministerial conference. But what? my boss said I should come here first. What conference are you talking about? You mean you don't know of it? No. Well, about nine ministers will be there. And we also heard from an inside source that the National Security Advisor will be there personally. You're going. FBI. The FBI are not detailed as part of the security network here. I'm afraid you have to leave. Who is in charge here? You have no authorization. I told you I'm the FBI. You have you no mean? authorization. What's the matter with you? Hey, it's okay. You it's okay. Leave it. I'll handle it. Hey, goodness. Smith. Kevin. Good to see you. What are you doing here? You're in the exercise? Yeah. I, yeah. I thought you wanted to be a lawyer. Well, times change, Smith. I've made progress all the same. <laughs> just, just a moment, there's something very important you must know. Yeah, what is that? See, I have a strong feeling that a group of terrorists are about to attack this place. You must call off this ministerial conference immediately. You must be crazy. Listen here, this conference here was signed and approved by the president himself. In two minutes, nine ministers will be here, and you want me to just call off this conference just because you have a lousy feeling? Look, I know what I'm talking about. You have to believe me. Honestly, you have to believe me. Well, listen, I can see it coming. What do you think I am? Listen, I might be the state security officer in charge of this assignment here, but it doesn't give me any right, any, any power at all to cancel what Mr. President himself approved. And ask nine ministers to just, gentlemen, thank you for coming. You may go home now. I'm not asking you to tell them, go home. So, listen, yeah. three girls have been murdered already today. It shows that a professional murder squad is in town. I know what I'm talking about. Sorry, Smith, that's not our problem, okay? Let the police go on and investigate that and solve it. Hmm? The last time you had me do a thing like this, I almost lost my life. You had me arrest an army brigade commander and it turned it up on a false alarm. I was beaten up, I was demoted, I was thrown into jail. Smith? It turned out to be somebody else, right? Yeah, someone else, but not from this country. Hmm? I'll see you later, Smith. Huh? You have to believe me, man. Wait a minute, here, boys. Look, God, nobody goes beyond this point, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is my pleasure today to welcome you to this all important meeting of 
the ministers of the Federal Republic, holding here at the International Conference Center. Without wasting any more of our time, my call upon the Chairman of the Council of Ministers, the Health Minister himself, Professor B.S. Eze, to pilot that phase. Professor. Yes. Somebody just came in, and I think you should know. What, who is it? The National Security Advisor is here. He's not in our data. I wonder why he's here. As the service chiefs and custodians of the nation's resources, it behoves. Are you here to say hello or what? I want to remind you that you are not invited to this meeting. Look here, Mr. Professor, or whatever you call your name. As long as I remain the national security advisor to the presidency, I have full authorization to be wherever I please. And as long as the national security of this nation is concerned, you are under me. And if you don't like it, Professor, you can go back to the classrooms. No, sir. Hold it right there. Where do you think you're going to? We're from the Electric Power Authority. We came to restore the AC lines. Hold on. Sir. Yes. There are some men from the Electric Power Authority. Yes. They said the, the air conditioner problem is an internal fault. And they want to come in to rectify it. Over. Okay, send them in at once. Yes, sir. Get 
drop your weapon. Go! Go! All of you drop your weapons or your man here dies. As I drop it. You're in no position to bargain with me. You either drop your gun and get out or bring yourself, officer. You lost out, mister. You don't know what you're doing. You can't get away with this. Leave that to be my worry. By the way, who are you? Kevin. Agent Kevin, State Security Service. All right. Agent Kevin, State Security Service. Who are you? Yeah. Who are you? Uh, Professor Olu Williams, the Minister for Agriculture. All right. I want everybody in this hall to bear witness to the family of Professor Olu Williams and the entire nation that Agent Kevin of the SSS is responsible for his death. His death. You see that? You! Pull back! Pull back, everyone! Don't know what you're doing. As far as I'm concerned, you're not going to get away with this. I am the national security advisor to the president himself. Oh, very well. Advisor. My pleasure. Mr. National Security Advisor, how many police officers do we have? How many terrorists? Maybe one, maybe two million. Maybe not now! Maybe not! Next time, you want to introduce yourself. Find out if that person gives it down. Huh? What actually do you people want? Is it money? Please. Let us know how much it is. You will get it. Name your price. And I will let you have it, please. Please. Do you know what I want? You think money is the solution to everything? You think when you have money, you have everything? When there comes a time when money, no matter how much, will fail you! And that's when pride, justice, freedom, fear, and revenge come to play! By that time, your money means nothing. Nothing! Line up the innovative bombs. Let me welcome all of you formally. You have been taken hostage. I have no respect for personalities. And what you are makes no meaning to me. Feel like escaping? Feel free. 
All the doors and windows have been fixed with C-14 magnesium explosives. Any attempt to pull the wires and hasta la visa will all blow up like chicken before the count of three. I will not advise you to annoy, attack, or irritate any of my men. These men are not your everyday money for food criminals. They're train killers. They have killed before, and they will not hesitate to kill again. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, what is this that I'm hearing? Uh, good day, sir. Good day, sir. Yes. Sir, a gang of unidentified terrorists penetrated the conference center. They are holding everybody hostage. What? Any casualties? Uh, some security agents are here, including a VIP, the agricultural minister. Goodness me. Any ransom from them yet? Not yet, sir. And who is the officer in charge of um, security at the conference? Uh, officer Kevin of the SSS, sir. Yes, and any communication link with the conference hall? Uh, yes, sir. A 10 kilometer radio frequency on a wireless automation system. Or we can reroute it with our computer into our frequency system okay, and make yes. it possible to talk and monitor the conference hall service. Okay. Do that immediately. Okay. You, I want you to get online with all road patrols and all field officers, including um, federal road uh, marshals, okay? All of them within the range of 200 kilometers. Yes, sir. Ask them to mount roadblocks uh, and maintain an open uh, line with us. You, I want you to maintain an open line also with the conference center. I want a minute by minute account of everything that goes on there. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Are you through with that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The yes. line to the ball is ready now. Okay. Attention. 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 This, this is, is FBI. FBI. Can, Can you please identify, identify yourself? yourself? Can the leader of this gang identify himself? Hello. Hello. This, this is, is FBI. FBI. We understand, we understand that you have taken hostage, hostage of... Um, of so, 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 Hello? Please, can you permit any of your hostages to talk to us? Sir, there is a... Please hold on. I repeat, this hold is on. FBI. Hold on. We want to know who you are, how many hostages that you have, yeah. and how many that are dead. Hello? Hold on. Can you please permit any of your hostages to talk to us? Please hold on. Hold on. Hello? Hold on. Okay, uh, please maintain an yes. open mind and make sure that... Uh, yes. Uh, Hello, FBI. Yes, Kevin, State Security Service. We are holding position at the Civic Center. We have the place sealed. I need Agent Smith at once. Uh, well, Agent Smith is not here at the moment, but he will be around. I want you to maintain your position there. I'm still trying to make contact with the terrorists and see what um, actually they want. Chief. I say I need Agent Smith immediately. He seems to know more about this terrorist than we do. I beg your pardon? What, what exactly are you talking about? He tried to warn me earlier. He tried to warn me of a sudden terrorist attack. I, 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 just, I just didn't take him seriously. Okay, Agent um, Kevin, I'll get in touch with you. Get online with Smith and ask him to see me at once. Right now, he's at home. I've tried the line. I see. Yes. Jesus Christ. What's the matter with you? You look like you've just seen a ghost. My boss just called. Yes? He said I should go over to the conference center and cover a story. Yes, that what? The minister's there have been taken hostage by a gang of terrorists. I just told me! Get out of here! I'm trying to get in touch with you. 
What, what is going on? Yes, it's good that you are here. Some terrorists have taken hostage some ministers at the conference center. Agent um, Kevin of the SSS telephoned and informed me that you had earlier on warned him about the terrorists. What do you know about them? Please, can you put me through to the conference center? All right. Yo. Alpha, Hector, Sigma, Omega, Mike, Mike Echo, Echo, Golf, Omega, Omega. Alpha, Alpha, Hector, Hector Sigma, Sigma, Omega. Omega. Mike, Echo, Echo Golf, Alpha, Alpha. Somali, Somali, Rwanda, Rwanda Angola, Angola, Liberia, Liberia Delta, Alpha, Delta, Echo, Sigma. Identify yourself. Alpha, Echo, Golf, Sigma. Omega 12. Omega 12. It's Smith. Smith. Smith is alive. It's been a long time, friend. It's so nice to hear your voice once again. You bring back old memories to me. Those memories were the worst, my dear friend. Angola, Somali, Rwanda, Liberia. It was in Liberia that I risked my life trying to save you. And I'm glad I did. Aren't you glad? Well, I was your responsibility in Liberia. You proved a reliable and competent leader. I'm appreciative of what you did for me. Don't mention it, my good friend. What are friends for, if not to inconvenience one another? That's what friendship, loyalty, and team spirit is all about. But you betrayed us, Smith. You betrayed us! I didn't betray you or anybody else on the team. I was badly wounded. I was dying. Look, I had no choice. Major Dan brought me home for treatment. Liar! Liar! It was you and Major Daniels who ran home and abandoned us. We were there trapped. Days upon days. Weeks upon weeks. But you abandoned us. You betrayed us, my friend. You betrayed us. Charles, what do you want? I want to talk to the president. Uh, now, enough of this old friend nonsense. Now listen to me, soldier boy. The answer is no. You have no reason whatsoever, and no privilege to talk to or speak with the president. Okay. So let's play it this way. In 30 minutes, you either bring me the president or you put him on line for me. Or in the next 30 minutes, I'll kill one minister and his secretary. I repeat, I, I have, have no authorization to, to permit that. that. You, you certainly, certainly cannot speak to the president. president. I, 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 I can help you. I am the health minister and also the chairman council of ministers for the president. I am the only one that can convince and persuade them to let you talk to the president. I see. Charles, 
Hello, Charles? What's going on there? Charles? Can you talk to me? You. My name is Florence, the secretary to the finance minister. Okay. I want you to pick that phone and just tell them what just happened now. Right! He has just killed the minister of health. Oh, shit. So, now that you know, I repeat. If I don't talk to the president, in the next 30 minutes, another minister goes down with his secretary. I don't know, but something has to be done. Put me online to the inspector general of places. Sir, I have already called his office. But he said he's not within the jurisdiction of the local police to deal with international terrorists. But that of FBI. What nonsense is that? By the way, has the director general of the state security services responded to this call? Yes, sir. Uh, but he says that SS cannot do anything at the moment. We have to get special permission from the Internal Affairs Minister. All right, I see. Um, put me online to the National Security Advisor to the President at once. The Security Advisor is among those held hostage at the conference center. Jesus Christ. What's the meaning of all this? What? Huh? Sir? Yes? I have the private line of the Secretary of Defense. Yes. A good day, Mr. Secretary, the Chief Inspector here. Good day. What can I do for you? I want to let you know that a gang of unidentified terrorists have taken hostage all ministers at the conference center. Yes, and I want to know if you can grant us direct access to Mr. President. I'm sorry, Inspector. I cannot do that. It's not the policy of the presidency to hold a direct consultation with terrorists. It's your responsibility at the FBI. Uh, Mr. Secretary. Two ministers are dead at the moment. And, uh, by the way, can, can, can you put me line to the Chief of Defense? I'm sorry, Inspector. I'm really sorry. At the moment, he's on the tour and cannot break his protocol. Good day. <sighs> what, what, what? This is simply it's too much for me. First, they organized a ministerial conference within my territory without letting me know. Now all hell has been let loose and nobody simply gives a damn. Put me online to the chief of staff now. That won't be necessary, sir. Why? You see, this gang of terrorists at the conference center, they used to be members of a special force in the army commanded by Colonel Nelson and coordinated by Mitchell Daniels. What? At a point, something went wrong and they were all excommunicated. I used to be a member of that special force. Special intelligence force, as a matter of fact, alongside peacekeeping missions in different war zones in Africa. What I'm trying to say, sir, is we are up against some military minds and souls, and it requires some military undertakers. The FBI is not fully equipped in training to handle this sort of confrontation. With your permission, I'd like to go over to the military base and invite Major Daniels. I believe if there's anybody that can make these people stop this madness, he's the one. about time agents, mate. There's nothing in time but sadness and unpleasant memories. Sit down. Thank you, sir. You look terrible. What brings you to my office? Sir, there's trouble in the air. The Omega Squad is back in town. It's unbelievable. They all died during our last assignment. That is not true, sir. They survived. Yes, they are in town right now and they are holding some ministers hostage, including the National Security Advisor. In fact, they've killed two ministers and are willing to kill more. It's unbelievable. What do they want? 
They have not specified, but the demand to speak with Mr. President. It's impossible. It's against the policy of the army to deal directly with domestic issues such as this, unless authorized by the general and the joint chiefs. I know, sir. Sir, you once commanded the Omega Squad. Yes. You commanded us well, and we all listened to you. Sir, I desire to ask of a favor of you. I wish you can come down with me so that you can go and talk to them. I believe if there's anybody that can convince them, it's you, so that they can put a stop to this madness. Die to you. It's a state of emergency.